Listen to this article. In 2013, Autosport compiled a list of the 50 best pilots who had ever run in F1. Only a Japanese driver made the qualification, and that was Satoshi Motoyama, who at number 27 was classified ahead of some illustrious names, including the late Gonzalo Rodriguez, the winner of Indianapolis 500 of 1999, Kenny Brack, multiple GT champions, Christoph Bauchut and L.E. Manns, ace Andre Lauterer. Motoyama is better known for its exploits in its native Japan, becoming a champion in what was then known as the Nippon Formula for Times, a record of the modern era, and accumulating three other titles in JGTC slash Super GT in a race that earned him the nickname the Emperor. But a little less than 20 years ago, Motoyama made two exits behind the F1 machinery, since he made a serious attempt to enter the rarefied world of Grand Prix races. Unfortunately, those efforts came to nothing, leaving Motoyama's unfulfilled ambitions as one of the great stories of what would happen if so that Japanese motor racing fans reflect. When Motoyama managed to obtain a test outing in F1, he was already 32 years old. His only professional driving experience outside Japan understood two appearances in the 24 hours of L.E. Mans for the employer Nissan, first, with the R390 GT1 in 1998, and then with the R391 short, lasting R391 prototype the following season. That was due to the fact that he was purely focused on building his reputation in Japan, what he managed to do with the Japapon Formula titles in 1998 and 2001. But at the beginning of the season he would give his third crown in 2003, the death of his friend of the friend of the childhood Deijiro Kato in an accident in the motorcycle race that year in Suzuka caused a change of focus. From the first time I won the Nippon Formula title, I had some contact with F1 teams, but honestly had no real intention to compete abroad, Motoyama recalls. But after my good friend Deijiro Kato, I wanted to continue his legacy and show him how hard he was working, and I decided it was time to challenge myself abroad. In 2003 I was able to win the title in Nippon and JGTC Formula. I felt that there was no higher challenge in Japanese races, and that if the opportunity arose, I would go to F1. Motoyama led the Jordan EJ13 2003 in practice in the photo of the Japanese Grand Prix of that year of Sutton Images. At that time, it happened that Jordan was looking for a driver to use on Friday's practice, so I thought we are going to try it. I would not know how a F1 car felt unless he tried it and the Tim, 